Okay, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to um, walk you guys through some shell, anti-shell builds um, that I'm working on right now that I think can help folks. Um, it's, you know, somewhat basic in the sense that, you know, fire and ice will work the best. Um, but there's some other hidden builds that I think are worth considering too. So uh, my first one, ironically, is a shell. Um, I need to build up this fourth rhyme um but you know rhyme with an ember gives you kind of a interesting build range it's between 300 and 350 um and it it works really well as an initial beacon runner um i i just recently got a linda uh pilot so you know luckily spun the physical shield expert um and roadhog those are really kind of the key um shell pilot builds i would recommend if you have a shell, if you don't, um, you're really going to be looking at trying to counter them with this, this sort of build. I've got um, a full level fortifier on the shell as well. So keep that in mind that anybody you're going up against usually has not only one, but probably two or three fortifiers. The fortifier when max gives you a 25% physical shield durability bonus. So um, when I'm crazy enough and I'm not you know, not running my Typhon that has a maxed fortifier as well. Um, you know, and I put two fortifiers on a shell, you're looking at uh, trying to pierce through somebody with probably a million, you know, health power, uh, health, yeah, shield uh, durability. So it, it's, it t the shell takes quite a bit of beating. And I think that's where the nerf is going to probably fall. They'll probably nerf the, the shield by 20%. So Keep that in mind, um, but an Ember Rhyme build is a good good setup for a shell to counter a shell. Um, I have two bots effectively useless against shells in the Hangar, the Typhon, and the uh, Papa Mobile Hawk. Um, those are all obviously um, not going to work at all because, you know, as you know, Scourges are... Um, their range, even though it's great, their energy and energy will be completely deflected by the shell. So uh, same for the Dragoon and the um, Marquis. So you just have to accept that as a, a build that you drop in later in the game. And that's what I do. So for those of you that have energy based guns, and you feel like you've lost the investment, don't worry, most people run out with shells. Just um, start with your anti shell builds, the rhyme and the ember. So here's my other one that I, I usually bring out second in the game. It is a, uh, a glacier rhyme hawk, and it still does exceptionally well. Um, my modules are pretty straightforward, a cloaking unit, a thermonuclear, and a last stand, all of which are just base levels because I just don't have the patience and the silver to upgrade them or max them out. So something uh, worth to consider. Um, I also, in the last month, I think it was in February, focused on actually building up a, um, a Fenrir with, again, an Ember and Freedom Igniters. And this is a really fun, um, basically, it's just like a shell and an Arthur melting build takes a huge amount of abuse um, when it's properly leveled and these are the Bernadette skills that I've, I've put on it to kind of keep him relevant um, I did waste some gold putting a devastator on um, but that's just the matter right sometimes you have a skill that works sometimes it doesn't what I ended up doing actually is putting my devastator on um, this other shell I just recently won um, and you can see here I'm still leveling them up but the dread shell will be probably my my next shell it just looks kind of sick um, in, in the hangar I don't know if I'll build more than two shells um, and I build them here with a, a typical meta um, devastator and scatters that I've won over the past uh, 90 days and have been kind of uh, building up. The next anti-shell build is a Nightingale. Um, I would, you know, recommend if you've got a rhyme, put the rhyme on and do a rhyme cryo. Um, here I just have a level one Dragon Blaze because that's all I've got. I think I've got a level eight sitting around somewhere. But um, again, Fire and Ice works well because the ice, of course, uh, the cryos or the rhymes or the glaciers will increase um, the freeze effect that when they're accumulated and then you've got a um, a heat-based weapon that will uh, do the the final damage and, and wreck the shell. 
Um, and then really honestly, my tier is absolutely useless against shells. And um, unfortunately, my uh, warrior Typhon is also uh, completely useless against shells with the pattern. But um, I think it's good to always have a couple of, you know, uh, physical shield busting weapons in your hangar and a couple of electric um, based weapons like a Thudden or a Scourge or anything of the, along those lines in your hangar to keep a variety. I think energy shooting is still um, vital to the meta. So um, those are kind of my ideas on anti-shell builds and we'll just see some gameplay and uh, I'll show you guys some of the new remastered maps too that have been uh, coming out on test server. All right, so I'm going to start with a shell like I was just mentioning, um, and let's see what we have in store for us. I'm sure there's going to be two or three shells dashing at my face right now anyways. Um, this is an Adrian pilot with a ton of skills, um, so I've got a lot of defense, you know, defense resistance elements, and there's a shell coming right at me. You can see here you can start bringing down his health, and then I duck away a little to just um, recoup a little. I should have used my ember up, but I'm going to go back in. Um, then you've got that pop. So there's two shells. Um, clearly they're storming and taking the beacon um, and we are losing drastically. Um, I really technically should have backed off at this point, but really um, my teammates aren't holding it much at all. So we'll uh, eliminate all of his shields like you can see. And I'm going to bring up my second one, the Hawk. Um, and the Hawk you can see now just like it just rips and shreds apart. Um, and the cloaking unit's activated, so this is clearly a game against some meta playing guys, and it's uh, not going to go well, but gives you guys an idea of how I try to deal with this, and of course, uh, got blasted right completely off the, the beacon there, so let's hope we can get this guy right here before I die. Well, there we go. And um, now it's just really kind of energy builds, um, and you know, I like the variety of an energy build. We're obviously losing right now, but um, you know, uh, idea here is with, with the energy builds, you get a little bit of distance, you get a little bit of play, um, play space. So let's see, uh, right now we're, <laughs> we're down by four. Um, so I don't think this game is going to go well, but it's an example of really kind of those uh, super duper meta builds uh, from uh, shell mongers and, and we've got a devastator. So key thing here when you've got uh, a shell with devastators and scatters on. Um, oh, lovely. Now we've also got a, um, wow, this is not really going well. We've got a nice and fun healing Demeter uh, that's also going to be increasing the damage output. So, yep, uh, pretty much this game is uh, done and over with, as you guys can see. Um, you know, I'll try to try to get this beacon, but it uh, seems like a lost lost cause. I'm not going to quit, but it's um, certainly a lost um, a lost cause because this guy is just going to, these guys are going to keep on bouncing back and forth uh, with some massive um, massive health and damage output. So we have lost everything. I'm going to drop in my Titan, get some healing points. So when this happens, just don't fret. Like, you know, um, heal as many people as you can so you can get those honor points. Try to max out your honor points if you can. Um, uh, clearly, the game will be over in about a minute or so. But it's just an example of a typical uh, crazy meta building uh, meta meta clan. Um, I don't even know if these guys are clanmates or not. But, you know. Try to keep on grabbing the beacons. That's the key thing, and, and you know, keep your chin up. Don't don't uh, completely feel forlorn. Um, this is obviously pretty ugly, um, but I'm trying to hold it. Uh, I guess maybe not too well. All right, let's see if I can get out of that morass, and and if I can, you know, kill this guy here. Um, Ravana's against against hawks are not really pretty, but uh, let's see if I can bring him down a little bit. I think this uh, game is going to be officially over soon but i'll try to go grab that beacon you know hey got to contribute where you can especially when it's a pretty pathetic situation all right so um let's take a look at who we were up against uh i came first so that's i guess great got my honor points so i uh, didn't lose any points there so that's i guess a good thing um but yeah these full clan uh so got to think matchmaking there let's take a look at some of these guys, um, yeah, uh, this is uh, lovely builds that we're up against. Okay, let's take a look at 
what we have up in test server. So um, this is just, you know, bringing back the maps that we once had ages ago and, and absolutely stunning and gorgeous. You can see the, um, the sand drifts in the background too. That's kind of sick and crazy. Um, so enjoy the test server games. Um, the views are fabulous. I can't wait till we have more variety back.